Hello everybody, my name is Jemmy and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you um basically the easy way of writing an essay or you know at least uh an attempt to write an essay the easy way. So uh we're gonna be using AI today to make uh like short little paragraphs for us. All of these AI will collect uh a bunch of information from uh the internet and it'll compile them into a few sentences for us to read. So uh, this one I searched up who was Steve Jobs, right? Okay, and it came up pretty good, you know, a uh, pretty long one. So let me read it to you. By the way, this is all AI. It's not plagiarized. Steve Jobs was born on January 5th, 1955 in Cupertino, California. He was the youngest of three children. His father was a carpenter and his mother was an artist. Steve's father died when he was very young, leaving Steve to raise his younger brother, Steve Jr., and younger sister, Lisa. At the time of his father's death, he had graduated from high school and was working as a computer programmer at a company called Apple Computer Inc., later known as Apple Computers. Steve SR, I'm still not sure what SR means, but Steve SR, worked at the company for about a year, then left to start his own company, Next comp Computer Co Corporation, which was later acquired by Apple. As you can see, it's not bad, not bad. Um, we could use this uh, in a variety of tasks, you know, if you have something to write about, if you're a... Uh, blogger maybe or if you want to like get a you know finish your essay quickly in school i'm not saying i do it but i am saying that it could be done of course this wouldn't get that high of a grade because it's very short um not saying short is bad i'm just saying it's like you know it doesn't have that much uh detail and information in it uh you know it only covers just a bit of his life not a lot but yeah this is basically what the ai can do it's pretty good it sounds like something I would write or something other people would write. So you could technically pass it off as your own writing. Anyways, let's get to the code, which is the fun part, right? Yeah, the fun part. All right. So the code, um, I didn't make it by myself, but uh, it, it, it was already made. I will link this um, this notebook in the description if you guys want to try it out yourself. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll just explain what each of these little code does. Let me just uh, make everything a little cleaner really quickly tools uh how do you clear everything up here hold on uh okay edit something right here clear all output there you go all right so once we're here we first need to click connect or in my case reconnect and once it's connecting it should come up like a ram and disk um it might take a while but you know there you go initializing and it's almost done connected there you go uh, ram and disk as you can see right there once that appears you're going to go into runtime right here go down to change runtime type and if yours is none set it to gpu like this and then click save all right like so and once you have done this uh you have now optimized your notebook and if you guys are new and you guys want you know these little running things like the cat the dog and the crab it's really easy just go into uh tools go into settings go into miscellaneous and then right here, select no power. Okay, if you have many power, you your computer will die. I'm not gonna say what it does, but if you wanna try it, you can try it. And you can tick all of these. If you don't want a crab, you just tick off the crab. Uh, if you don't want any of these, you just tick them out. Or if you only want one, then you could just tick that one. But yeah, that is basically how to enable these guys. Uh, all right, let's get into the code. So first, we're gonna have to install and import the packages that we need. Packages, packages. Um, so the first thing is we're gonna PIP install transformers. Uh, which is like a library or like something we need to install in order to, you know, use this AI. And we're going to import TensorFlow as TF. Basically, instead of having to type TensorFlow every time, we can now just type it as TF. Um, and then from Transformers, we're going to import a few more packages from this right here. So like GP, GPT2 LM head model and GP2 tokenizer. And once you have that done, we're going to set them as variables. So tokenizer and model right here. No, these are not really important it's just uh settings up stuff up i mean it is important but you know not like the main uh type the main things we usually like how you call it uh change um and then this one right here is something we need to change tokenize so right here we're going to set our topic blog underscore title uh we can change this to whatever it was as you can see i said who was steve jobs let's try something interesting right um what's a topic that the ai has a lot to write about cats are better than dogs dogs right 
all right let's see what it does near here um or it it usually does well when it's a question so are cats better than dogs question mark like that uh, that is going to be our subject and basically in here it's going to encode our blog title right here um and this will input output the input which will just like, give a bunch of little like bracket stuff uh and right here we're going to set our output uh and this is basically the max length that we're going to go for 200 words um, num beams is basically the type we wanted. We can set this to however how much we want, which one works the best for us. So you could set five, four, three. Right now I have it as four because I think it works the best. Uh, ngram size equals to two, early stopping goes to true. And then we print out uh, the text that it has made. So yeah, let's run all this. It might take a little bit of time, um, but especially this guy right here, this guy, and this guy. Okay, this guy. So you have to be patient with it and I'll see you once we got the finished result. All right, everybody, here we have our finished result. Um, as you can see, it downloads a bunch of stuff, but it, this is where the good stuff is at, right? It doesn't give us long, but you know, it's still pretty decent amount of size. Uh, uh, let's see. Yes, cats are more intelligent, more social, and more affectionate than their canine counterparts. However, they are also more prone to accidents and injuries, which is why it's more why which is why it is important to keep your cat indoors. You know, not bad, but you know, not as long as we want, but not as short. Uh, we can try adjusting some stuff. You know, I might adjust this one to five. Uh, we could try again. So let's try that. All right, we just need to run these two because the rest we aren't changing anything. So yeah, I'll see you once we're back. Let's see if anything changes. All right, everybody, so now we have our thing and it's looking a lot more promising. So uh, let's let's try uh, getting this. Oh boy, it might be a long read. Um, you know, I may not read all of it. Oh geez, that is long. That's like almost half the entire thing scrolled out to the max. Oh wow. Um, I may not read all of it, but you know, it's pretty good. Yes, cats are more intelligent, more social, and more affectionate than their canine counterparts. We already read this, so I'll skip a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. They are also less likely to bite or injure people or other animals. However, they are not as good as dogs in many other ways. For example, a cat may not be able to jump as high as a dog. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is that true? No, no, there's no way that's true. Uh, can cats or dogs jump higher yeah you see cats uh the ability to jump up to seven times their height much greater than a dog can so okay so there is a flaw here a cat may not be able to jump as high as a dog or it may be more prone to accidents such as being hit by a car or falling down a flight of stairs i feel like the most animals get that got hit by a car would be a dog uh, a cat is also more susceptible to diseases, including ra rabies and feline Im immune immunodeficiency virus (FIV), which can be transmitted to humans through the bite of infected cat. Also, unlike dogs, cats do not have a strong immune system, which makes them more vulnerable to infections. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC) estimates that more than one third of cats in the U.S. are infected with FIV, compared to the less than one percent of dogs. Okay. As you can see, there is uh, a little bit of bias in here, I feel like, uh, with the dog um, thing. So, you know, oh, AIs are alive. No, it's probably somebody from the internet wrote that and they're like, oh, yeah, that's probably true. Um, but anyways, that is what AI wrote. And you can see if you change the num beans right here, right? The num beans from four to five or you can even try six. Um, it gives a much different or more like better or worse result you know you if it doesn't get like a good result in the first time you have to retry the second time and maybe get a better result so yeah that's what you do um and you have to fact check this one right as i said earlier uh some of them might be wrong so you have to fact check it with you by yourself and yeah that is basically it for today's video i hope you enjoyed uh see you next time and don't cheat with this please uh, i'll get in trouble okay bye thank you